Brandon Pickersgill, massive performance against the Widnes Vikings uh, Sunday gone. That'll give you uh, a big boost of confidence ahead of the trip to Toulouse on Saturday. Yeah, you know, I thought the team were outstanding Sunday. We put a full 80 minute performance together. And as you say, we're full of confidence going into Toulouse this weekend and it's going to be a great game. What positives can you take out of that witness performance? I think there was quite a, there's going to be a long list. I you? think the best one was the defence for me, you know, when we were knackered at the end of the game and we were scrambling like mad not to let them score, you know, we had real pride in his defence on the weekend and uh, going into Saturday's game, that'll be massive again. So yeah, for me, I know it was good scoring all the points, but to keep a team like witness with the attacking players at zero were a real bonus. Do you feel that the, the fear factors back, you're putting the fear factor back into the opposition? Yeah, I'd say so. You know, we've had two good wins now, Fax and Widness, two very strong sides. So, yeah, I don't think teams will take take us lightly, but we don't take anyone lightly either. So, as I say, all these teams are good in this league, and uh, this Sunday, this Saturday, sorry, it's going to be another good one. It's uh, going to be record temperatures. Yeah. Uh, always a tough assignment uh, playing against Toulouse, as you found out on your first team debut two years ago. Yeah, I think we'll have to get some cream out for a few boys in this team on a uh, Saturday. But yeah, I've played there. I think it was two years ago now on my debut. It was a really tough game, we had a bit of a mixed team and we ended up getting battered. But yeah, I know they're a different beast when they're at their place, especially in the sun. So it's going to be a real good challenge, but one I'm thoroughly looking forward to. You look at some of their players, Barfow, Ford, Morel, Mika, Robin, Parata, Vai Vai, they've got a bit fun. Yeah, there. they've got seasoned pros, you know playing at the top of the game and as I say it's a great challenge for us to see where we're at, where we're at, at the moment sorry and if we want to get the playoffs these are games we need to be going and trying to get the two points. When you look back to your debut Brandon in that 62-4 defeat how do you feel you've improved in the in the past two years because obviously you were relatively young you're still relatively yeah. young now but you've had the two years experience further on. To be honest Mick I've not really thought about it that much but um, Looking back now, I think I was just a youngster then, you know, didn't have much of a voice in the team. I, I was um, more nervous than out playing that day and probably playing most times that season, but I think now much more calm and relaxed. I know my role in the team and, um, you know, I just take each game as it comes now. I'm not really nervous about it, so I just can't wait to get out there. And this season, invariably, you've suffered a couple of setbacks having to play in the reserves and the midweek game against Barrow in the 1895 Cup, but You've now had two games at full back and I think you're showing John Keir that year deserving of a place in the team. Yeah, I think, you know, getting dropped it's never good, but for me it's only benefited me, you know, it made me take a sit down and uh, made me think what I want to do this season. I've really wanted to push to get back in the team and uh, thankfully I've done that and it's made me a lot hungry and I think it has with a few other boys, you know. Teams teams in a place like Bradford Bulls are never certain and uh and JK says that all the time, so for me, I just had to keep pushing hard and try try to work my way back in the team and hopefully now I can just keep playing well and keep getting picked every week. And with you going back to full-back, Ethan Ryan's gone back to the wing, we've seen Joe Keyes back, Jay Hitchcock's back, hopefully show some consistency in a regular spine week in, week out. Yeah, you know, players like that, Jay and Keyes are coming back, it's boosted as massively as you can see, I think the field goal factor's back a bit to be fair. And, uh, it frees up players like Jordan Lilly and as you say, Ethan Ryan's back on the wing now, he's doing what he does best. So um yeah, you know, getting that spine, we can all uh get as players right every week and uh, as talk right and you know, up for the performances will just keep on coming and improving. Eight games to go, two points outside of the playoffs, big weekend in the Betford Championship, Featherstone Play Lee, York, Sheffield, Toronto, Halifax. What would it mean to the Bradford Bulls top five aspirations to go to Toulouse and get the win on Saturday. Yeah, it'd be massive and uh, it'd put us in a really strong spot going forward, you know. These top five places are all, well, I think apart from one and two, the, the rest of them are all up for grabs and uh, we're really looking to find some form now going into these last eight games and if we could pick up two points, it'd really keep us pushing forward and keep that push alive.